What? Oh, you're silly. So we are opening up a scooter that we received from one of our amazing subscribers here on YouTube. What a wonderful gift and we're super excited to open it. Who's excited? Yeah! Do what? Try it off first. No, Madeline. I'm not going to. Madeline's going to do it. Nice to be the first on the scooter. Okay, so this scooter is from All Move. It says ages 6 to 16. It has a 150 watt motor up to 11 miles an hour. That is fast. But it has three adjustable speeds and height, so it's perfect for your kids. My kids are super excited. I will go ahead and I will drop the link below for you so you can check out this product. You can order it right through Amazon. So this electric scooter has an LCD display, so it's a get real time power speed mode. So the power button is right up top for easy operation. So there's three different speeds, four miles an hour, eight miles an hour, and 11 miles an hour. It's got great safety features for kids. It's because it's a kid's electric scooter and it's easy full stop. It has a responsive uh, dual braking system, which is electric brake and rear foot brake. We don't have our helmets here yet, but always wear a helmet. We're just going to show you how it works. Before my kids go scootering around town, though, they will have the safety features in place. I think that this would make an excellent Christmas gift or birthday gift if someone's going to college, and it's going to be fun. Gonna stop at Bella Goose and we're going to get some buffet. I have my own creamer. This is Kelowna heavy whipped cream, nothing in it, so good. And then I have a little bit of protein powder in here. And then I just order a black coffee. Save lots of money and I'm not getting all that extra sugar. So this is my favorite coffee. You're almost done with your treat. Is it good? Welcome back. We are going into our co-op. I'm a mother to 11. We are a family of 13 and we go through a lot of food because some days I'm feeding my children up to six times a day. So we just go through a lot. So it's super important when you're shopping in more of these expensive stores that you're really careful about what you buy because most of the times you can find these items cheaper at places like Aldi or Costco. And we only need a few things in here today. So it's not like a super huge haul. It's never a really big haul when I come in here, but but like I said, they have the things that we need that I can't find anywhere else. So, okay, let's go. Let's go. The baby's sleeping. Okay, we're gonna grab our bags. Um, I know that I'm buying like cold things. So I'm just gonna bring this insulated bag. This is from Lotus and I love it. And I just they have some parsley and some cilantro. So let's throw it in that bag and away we go. It's inside a bag. A bag's inside of a bag, yes. Hey, wait, gotta look for cars. Look for cars, okay. Stay right here. Can you get a bigger cart? Perfect, thank you. Isn't this a cute wall? So cute. A little view of what's inside of our cop. It's very, 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 very nice. And it's my daughter's. <gasps> Good morning, Cecilia. Good morning. Okay, so we're gonna start over here today because I need sprouting lids. And I know this is the right place to come for sprouting lids. I'm gonna see if I can find them here because we have some sprouting to do. If not, then here we go. They have, I love these jars. These canning jars are so beautiful. I'm not seeing, oh, there's a sprout screen. Oh, that's a screen to go over your lid. Actually, this one actually might work. But we have our water in at home. Isn't that nice? We actually have this blue one. It's $52.99, and my dad made something like this out of oak. So ours is very similar to this, kind of sits on a stand. Um, I love it. This again, mug. What a sweet mug. It is cute. I like I the li simple ones. Wouldn't these be great for like breakfast? Those are cute, yeah. Like the little oranges on it. Oh, these are darling. $4.99. Nice. Yeah, buy 12 of those. I know, right? That's why I haven't bought them. Okay. 
Welcome back. I lost my husband. What do you think? It looks like they have cards over here. We're doing a Christmas card exchange. I'll drop the information down below in the comments. Um, I'll pin it right to the top. They have all kinds of calendars. Oh, well, they have like a Oh, Lego that's a one. Lego one. <gasps> How fun. Oh, that would be so fun. Cool. And they have holiday cards over here. And with the card exchange for Christmas, Feel free to make your own card, box cards, personal cards, whatever you want to do is perfectly fine. Oh, look at this, Victoria. This is like your menu for the wall. Isn't that cute? For 2024. Who's ready for 2024? No, I don't know. It's gonna come really, really fast. That's a really sweet plant. This looks like the one we have. It is the we same have one. this one. Just smaller. Looks like they're coming out with candles. Love, love, love candles. And these are gonna probably be very clean because of where we are at. They bring in amazing products. I'm sure it smells delicious. I like using the furs from Young Living. Ooh, I wish you could smell that. Oh, you guys smell that. Smell that candle. That's Christmas in a candle. I like that. You wanna smell it, Lair? What do you think? Doesn't that Great smell delicious? I like it. Mm -hmm. Now you know what you can put in my stocking, Larry. Come here, give me some stocking candles. From St. Nicholas. Oh, babe, I need to show you this. We need more sprouting lids because I need to do three different ones. And I think we only have oh. one or two sprouting lids. Can you come here? Help me out here. So he's like the fermentation sprouting guy. <laughs> so I just want his advice. I don't know. All I'm seeing are like the sprouting screens. Mm -hmm. And then like you have to get like a tough band is what i'm guessing i don't yeah, know is this too much i guess i'm spoiled cover. the one we have at home is really nice that green i know one. we have more than one at home is that too much 4.99 for a screen i can look it on amazon yeah let's look it up on amazon okay we're gonna look up on these are the ones that we have yeah we have those oh 11.90 wait it's 11 16. how many do you get eight of them wow let's just do that why would you do that? For one. Okay, so we're gonna do that then, right? Yeah. No. We're just gonna order it online. Okay. All right, let's look over here. Let's see what we got going on today at the co-op. Well, these cereals are, whoa, $9.49, but they're buy one, get one free. So they're actually giving you what the price should be. <laughs> Why do I remember these being like $5? I, I don't know. What? Nine dollars for cereal? Okay, I am seeing though they have, we're not doing the trick-or-treating thing. Um, they do have buy one, get one free assorted candies here, and this is a really good deal. So I think I'm gonna do, let's see how many come in here. Let me see, eight of them. So I'm looking for, <laughs> this is why we shop at Costco. We need like large amounts, but it's buy one, get one free. Should we do these dark chocolate peanut gems or should I do the dark chocolate buttercup? There's only eight in here, so we have to buy two of these. So maybe these would be better. So we'll buy two of these. Just buy one, get one free. Oh. So we'll buy... No, put that back. We don't need that. We buy that at Costco. Yeah. Put the string cheese back. So, okay, Dad will be the deciding factor. Do I get two dark chocolate peanut butter cups or do we get two dark chocolate peanut gems for Halloween night? There's only eight peanut butter cups in here. Oh, that's not enough for me, right? Right, so I'd have to just buy two. Okay, we'll just do the little ones. Milk chocolate. It says quinoa. It's probably yeah, a I know. Yeah, some chocolate. of the kids are allergic to quinoa. Dark and milk. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, let me show you some things that they have. What I'm talking about and why we go to Costco. So, here, the string cheese for the stringles is six ninety nine. For I think you get eight of them, and if you go to Costco, it's either eighteen or twenty-four of them for like nine ninety-nine. So way better deal. So these are the things I have to really be cautious of when I come here. But then they'll have you know cheese here that I can't get at other places, right? It's like if you love the Organic Valley, they're gonna have a whole line of like sliced Organic Valley cheese and things like that. So it's really nice. <laughs> um, you just have to really be careful like i do love the organic valley raw cheese here it's super good do you wish that it was grass-fed it's not unfortunately that i know of here's the organic valley raw cheddar cheese 8.99 and this is only eight ounces so that's like what that's 18 dollars a pound so i would get the carry gold over this one because this is 19 dollars a pound versus going to costco where it's 6.99 a pound for the grass-fed cheddar 
hello there. Hello there. Okay, baby. Okay, we're gonna keep going. This is another really good one. They sell a, uh, we get it at our local apple orchard. Looks like they also sell mayhem. 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 <laughs> I think it's a hot cheese. It's a load of mayhem. That's, that's the pepper. Right. It's, well, I, I, I figured that. I don't know. There it is. 429. Let's get what we need because we have to go. Okay, actually, here's even a better example. They have the Kerrygold cheese here, and it is $5.99 for seven ounces, where we get Kerrygold, same cheese, for $6.99 a pound. You got to put it back. We're not getting that. Back. I don't put it back. Oh, the little sweet treats? The sweet treats. We always look at toys when we come here, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. You comfy? What kind of socks are you wearing? You're wearing your Christmas socks. Oh my gosh. They're <laughs> weird. You're wearing Christmas socks. Yeah. Should we go buy toys? We're just looking at bread right now, but yes, then we can go look at toys. Yes. Okay, so we're by the bread section. Super delicious bread. Love to support the local bakeries here, but these are between five and then like the bagels are now $10 for six of them. And so this is why we go to Costco to buy our sourdough. $8.99 for three loaves of sourdough versus spending, you know, $7 on this round or making it yourself for like, what, a dollar at home? Yeah, gotta be careful. Alright, mom's gonna fight bacon. We're gonna go look at toys. They have little finger puppets and everything. I like the squirrels. The cat? You both like cats? Oh. So they have like all this synergy here. They have like way more varieties than Aldi and I think it's the same price. The kids always come in here and get this. So this is a carrot and turmeric. That just sounds really, really good. Kombucha, black tea, green tea, kiwi juice, um, turmeric juice, fresh pressed carrot juice. So like I think I actually might get this. That looks really good. Um, they have a couple of different ones. Trilogy, the blood orange looks good. So. Um, and that price is okay. So I would get the kombucha. So we usually do when we come in here, we'll pick up like a really fun kombucha. My kids really like these kombuchas over here. They have like the Rishi Chaga turkey tail in them, which is so cool. Root beer is their absolute favorite. Oh, we have animals. We have animals. So this was a complete hit, this hickory smoked summer sausage. So I'm gonna get another one of those. This was $6.99. We have not had a chance to go into the liver sausage yet, but this was really, really good. When I do buy lunch meat, I like to go to Costco because it's, I think now it's like $17.99. It's like $10.99 a pound. Here, you're gonna pay more than $10.99 a pound. For, they used to have plain bill, and they sell plain bill anymore, but the lunch meat costs way more here than it does from Costco, but you also get different selections. So, if you want a variety, this is perfect here. And if you don't need large quantities, it's also really good. Here is another example, $4.49 for the Kerrygold butter per brick. Get four bricks of Kerrygold butter in a box at Costco for $13.99. You're saving a fortune. So I wouldn't buy butter here either. <laughs> I'm gonna get some heavy whipping cream. This is the one I love from Cologne. This is the one I buy every week. Love it, love it, love it. Are you supposed to be doing this? <laughs> I want my mom to find them. Mom needs to find them. Mom, look under the coat. What's under the coat? What's under the coat? I see cashew milk yogurt. Those for you guys. So they got the mango. Can you want me to take it? Thank you. And Sophia got the mixed berries. Mango. Oh, and hasn't found an instant meat thermometer. Very good. It's like eight or nine dollars. Okay, this is a milk that we love to buy. We just had them save us some because every time we come in here, 
they don't have it and it's $8.99 for a gallon we got four of them okay we're gonna do cottage cheese this week and this one's on sale pasture raised it says new taste what does that mean the bad taste oh is bad gosh, new taste. i don't know we'll get two of them then just two you don't like chocolate? Yeah, you, say swear words. you don't like chocolate? <laughs> Wait a second. I'm not a fan of How is that possible? Okay, we're gonna get two of the flank of birds and they're $4.99 each. I do prefer to get the organic pasteurized, but they are 69 cents per egg right now, and these are 61 cents. So I'm gonna actually get this, and that's $10.99, so. My one's like, that's so much, we should get chickens. We don't have space for chickens, and so we do the best we can. So I like Vital Farms a lot. I've been eating Vital Farm eggs for a very long time. They are exactly the eggs I need for my system. Okay, so I'm gonna put some eggs over here. Okay, let's go. Okay, I spy Siete products, and we need some taco seasoning. So I'm gonna pick up three taco seasonings for two dollars and fifty cents. Watermelon, strawberry, and lemon. But they're only three ninety nine here. What is a hangover destroyer? <laughs> Why are they calling it that? Why are they calling it a hangover destroyer? Then must people must use that for hangovers. Ooh, that's a good one, Jules. Yeah, I like the one with Keely. Hangover destroyer. It must be someone that works here. I thought that was funny. I like that this is the beet, carrot, apple, and lemon. It's all really good for you. Which one did you get? What, what do you have in yours? Uh, you grab that one, Fash. Like, this is mine. I'm claiming it. Ooh, that's yum. I have two of these at home. I'm holding it down. I'm sticking to my list. That makes my husband very happy. I most certainly do too. I stick to my I list. Heavy cream, not keeper. I knew I needed it. I found you. Look at you guys. Okay, so mental note, remember to get the beans. I'm gonna get some great northern beans. They're almost out of them. Um, from Azure Sander Pickup. I have to order that. I just need like two cups of them. Organic great northern beans for $2.79. I think that's about right. Because we need two cans, and this is about, that's about two cups. I think it's that makes quite a bit. A little bit more? A little bit more. This, more, this looks more like one and a half cups. Okay. Yeah, that looks like two cups. Okay, perfect. The number is 2365. Okay, we're going to get some dry dill. You can make even a dill dip with some Greek yogurt and some dill and a little bit of lemon or lime juice. What do you think? Apple cider vinegar even would be pretty good in that. But we're having salmon. <laughs> And some dill. Okay, will you fill up the bag of dill? How much is the dill? The dill is gonna run you $33.99 a pound. We're not doing anything a pound, so we're gonna look for Earl Grey tea. Let's go. You're not bringing them what? You're not bringing them home? They have to go back? Okay. Did you keep this picture of him? Yeah, I have a picture of him. But did you keep it? I have it. Okay, you can do it. So we're we gonna put them away? Yeah. All right, let's walk him back then, okay? Come on. Pick one color. One color. Mm. Is that supposed to be blue? Well, I have orange in my hand if you want orange, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I just did There you go. We have some banana and fruit for kids to eat while they yeah. walk around and shop. You can't open it? You got it? I can't open that. Look at all the fun, spooky things they have. Look at the pumpkin candles. I like the knitted pumpkins, those are sweet. I like this one. I like that one too. Okay, so we need another butternut squash, which is one seventy-nine a pound. Julia, could you do me a favor? Could you go weigh one of these for me? See how much one of those weighs. About four pounds. Okay, that's that, that's fine. Let's let's weigh that one. Yeah, that one. Looks like they're all about that much. Okay, we'll just buy that one. That's fine. It'll be consumed. Perfect. They have honey crisp apples here for one. 99 a pound that is a really really good deal so we go to aldi i think it was like 250 a pound no it was like 225 a pound we're getting a good deal here do you guys want to get some honey crisp apples honey crisp hold on let's get a couple bags of them we love our honey crisp aren't they sweet little bags so sweet thank you we're gonna grab some kale 
and I need three bunches of kale and it's $2.49 per bunch. So we need three of these for our soup. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm just going to kind of lay this down here for now. And here's two. You know, if it's just for soup, I'm thinking that two bunches is more than enough. These are huge. Let's just get two, two bunches. What do you see? They're vegetables. What is that? Broccoli. Broccoli. It is broccoli. Very good. See, they taught you well. And then we're going to get some, some parsley and then some cilantro. Beautiful. So one thing I loved about being plant-based is everything is so vibrant and rich. I don't think I'll ever stop eating greens. Um, perfect. That looks good. We just needed two bunches. So the cilantro is $2.29 and the parsley is $2.29. Perfect. Oh, and they have like all the little pumpkin spice, cheese, candles, candles. All the things, all the things. If you need them for fall, they have them. Who did you find, babe? Black pepper. Thank you. Yes, it was on the list. And sure. uh, and good conversation. Yeah, we were talking about kombucha. Nice. That's a runner. Soap. Okay, here we are. Someone's already stick our left behind. All right, here we go. Okay, so that is a wrap. Not bad for that grand total. Got everything we needed. Kind of spend the same on here that we do at Aldi. And then we're gonna go to Costco next and we're not gonna get very much because we don't feel like it today. We're just not in the shopping mood. Okay, so what did I get for spending over $100 on food from my co-op? Well, let me show you. Sometimes I wonder like when I'm filming, if I miss stuff, like I don't know if you got to see all of this, I can't remember. And I'll explain why we bought what we bought. Um, so, honey crisp apples. Now, I was thrilled with that price. Definitely beat Costco and definitely beat Aldi. So I was happy. And if you watched my last Aldi haul, they actually had honey crisp apples like on the sign, but no honey crisp apples in sight. These look great. My kids are already eyeballing them. We were actually are doing a nut butter board and what we're going to do is put like apple slices and toast. I'll show you all that. It's really fun. It's like a charcuterie board for the kids. I should have bought more. My husband's actually in the city tomorrow and I think I might have him pick up some more of these because that's super reasonable. Okay, moving on down, I got two beautiful bunches of kale. I do remember when kale was only like $1.99 a bunch, but that no longer is the case. But we were making a Tuscan soup. I've never made it before, but I'm really excited to try. So I needed two heads of kale. Moving down here, I got one bunch of cilantro. The cilantro again is for the Tuscan soup and for my smoothie. Cilantro helps pull the heavy metals out of your body. And then I also got some parsley for the Tuscan soup. Lots of greens going on. And for like garnishing dishes and stuff like that. This will not all be used on the Tuscan soup. That would be quite a bit. Okay, moving down here, I picked up one butternut squash. This is um under like four pounds. $1.79 a pound for the butternut squash. This is an organic one because we were making like a ground beef barnet squash soup definitely more expensive than Aldi but Aldi is not GMO free and it's not organic or anything like that super good deal and then we picked up some dill I forgot to pick this up from Azure I will just get a whole pound of it this week when I order same with the um the black pepper it's always cheaper to buy your spices in bulk you're better off buying them once in those little cute jars save your jars and then refill them with bulk even if you are going to Aldi where I think like their spices are all under three dollars but I needed dill because we're having salmon this week and we're making some dips black pepper for cooking and all that good stuff moving back here we have some fun things that were not on my list oh. But I couldn't pass it up because these are buy one get one free and these are the dark chocolate peanut gems and then these are the unreal milk chocolate gems we're not going to be partaking in all that trick-or-treating stuff for many reasons one I'd hate when my kids have candy I was like well I want to get them something we got some fall boo basket some stuff in it for them we're gonna have some candy and we're just going to enjoy the evening and then October 31st is also All Saints Day so um it's really not about trick-or-treating so 
the ingredients are much cleaner than the alternative. My kids love them. Then I saw this carrot turmeric and I just had to try it. So I got one of those. And then my daughter wanted some of the juice. This is local to us, much cheaper at her co-op than getting it locally. So she got two of those for the week. And then one of my other daughters got her favorite ever, Eternal Life. These things weren't on the list, but that's okay. The extras, because it always happens. Moving, we'll just kind of move right down here. Picked up some of the plain kefir. This was a really good price this week. So I bought two of them. I'll just kind of put that in my smoothies. Then we got some heavy whipping cream. As you can see what's in here, it is just organic cream. This is, in my opinion, one of the next best things you can buy to raw milk. And it is low temp pasteurization, non-homogenized, grass-fed cows, small family farms, USD organic. So I love, love, love that about them. This even has the 14 life active cultures, regenerative farming. So love it it was on sale so this is the one we bought it is made with milk from pasture raised cows 14 grams of protein and we're having pineapple and cottage cheese we bought two of those because not everyone in my house likes cottage cheese moving down here one carton of the 18 pack pasture raised eggs um and so this is coming from clever so cute so so cute so i got one of these cartons for myself this week down here my daughters picked up, see this is some more extras. They love this forager, cashew milk yogurt. This is the berry berry and the mango. It has probiotics, calcium, vitamins, DA, and B12. Okay, next up we have the dried navy beans. For the butternut squash soup, I needed navy beans, like two cans. So I said, well, we're just gonna get the dried beans. And then it made me think, oh, I should probably order this on Azure Standard this month because we go through a lot of navy beans. We make a lot of baked beans, my kids love love baked beans. If you don't know what Azure is, I'll drop that video link down below and you can check them out. Down here I have taco seasoning. This was on sale, so I bought it. We had some really good finds this week. One taco seasoning is going to be for taco salad, and the other one we're making fajitas. So I got one and one for that, and then an the extra one just to have on hand because I really like the Siete taco seasoning. If you look at the ingredients in the back, super clean. It's just chili powder, sea salt, ground dates, and tomato powder, garlic powder, nutritional yeast. You can kind of see that, right? Check it out. Isn't that amazing? Back here, we like this so much. We bought another one. 100% grass fed, Thousand Hills Lifetime Grace, Regenerative Agricultural Farming. This is that beautiful hickory smoked summer sausage without all the fillers. Got this for like movie night and charcuterie boards, things like that. He's happy to find that. My husband is obsessed with soap. Bars of soap. He decided to get the all in one hemp lavender. There's that. Meat thermometer. Yes, you can even get meat thermometers there. We needed one because ours broke. Thought that was a pretty good price. I mean, I'm sure you can find them much cheaper like at Walmart, but we weren't at Walmart and we needed it. And then I got the Kelowna milk. We got four this time. I was so happy they actually had the Kelowna milk every time we go there. They are out of the gallons. So we called ahead of time. We made sure we had four in reserve. This is the organic cream top whole milk. Low pasteurization, grass fed, rich on the farming. Totally worth the price in my opinion. If you can find this milk try it out this is everything we got for the week there's a little look again and there's the grand total thank you so much for being here thank you for joining us if you're not part of our family here on youtube i would love for you to subscribe hit the bell icon so you know when we're dropping new videos we drop them about three times a week leave any comments feedback down below sending you so much love from wisconsin and we'll see you in the next video take care